We're going to get started in geometrical optics by talking about a couple of principles that describe how light behaves. Now, they are going to sound very simplistic because these, became, these came long before we had the electromagnetic theory that really told us what light is. These are simpler ideas because people were still figuring out what, what light is. Okay? But they're actually very useful for geometrical optics and we're actually going to use some of them as we move on into the course. So the first one is by this fellow here. Now, how do we say that name? So I always like to try to say the names correctly. I've heard this pronounced Huygens and Huygens and lots of different ways. And I was wondering how to say it correctly. Well, Paul Horowitz really looked into this. So Paul Horowitz is a physics professor at Harvard. And uh, if you've heard of the electronics book, Horowitz and Hill, The Art of Electronics, it's that Paul Horowitz. And he's worked on SETI, lots of interesting things. And he wanted to know how to say this name. So he went and recorded some native Dutch speakers saying this name. So let's see the proper way to refer to this principle, which we are going to be thinking about a lot for the next several weeks. So Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens. So it's Huygens. Antoni van Leeuwenhoek. That's somebody else. Don't Antoni worry about. Don't van worry about Leeuwenhoek. Leeuwenhoek. Let's get another one here. Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens. All right. So I will, with my Texas draw, I'll do my best to say Huygens. Huygens principle. So let's see what pretty boy Christian came up with here. And the idea is that um, every point on a wavefront may be thought of as a source of spherical waves. That sounds a little strange. So if you have a plane wave, you can actually say uh, this plane wave is propagating as a plane, but now I'm going to stop in time and think of it as a bunch of little sphere, spherical waves propagating all over the plane. And that accurately describes how light works. Let's see what in the heck we're talking about here. Okay, so here's just a quick diagram. So here we have our plane wave. So we would think of the E field constant in the plane perpendicular to the board. And we know how a plane wave propagates. It moves forward. And in some time delta t, it goes at the speed of light. It goes c delta t. Right? Christian said, no, and I'm sorry, Halhan said, let's do this. Let's pretend that it suddenly breaks up into little spherical waves. And spherical waves propagate out as spheres. We haven't done that solution to Maxwell's equations, but it's, it's there. Right? So it's going to propagate out like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. And then once you propagate them a while, then you just draw a line sort of perpendicular to all those wavelets. And that's the new wavefront. So instead of thinking of it as just a plane wave moving, we think of spheres as propagating. I don't know. You could also do a curved wavefront. If you do all kinds of these geometries, you get pretty much the right thing. So this would propagate out, that curvature would go down, that curvature would change, and it would look something like that. So that is Howhun's principle. These are called Howhun's wavelets or Howhun's uh, waves. And we're actually going to use it a lot more than just in geometrical optics. We're going to use it further into the course. So you want to get that, that picture, that idea in your mind. <laughs> 